Do you have any idea what this is? Well, of course, it's a lamp, an electric light, a globe. And this one is a special one from the television studio here. It's a 2000 watt lamp. When you switch it on, electricity passes up here, across that little filament in the centre, which glows white hot, and then down the other side. And then the electricity passes back the other way, and it changes directions 50 times every second. A 2000 watt lamp, very bright indeed. This one was even brighter when it worked. It was a 5,000 watt lamp from the television studio. Doesn't work anymore because the filament is broken. You can see little bits of coiled wire rolling around inside the glass jacket right now. Well, you don't have lamps that bright at home, but you may have one this bright. This is about the brightest kind you'd get at home. It's a 300 watt lamp. Once again, you can see that filament. In this case, it's a semicircular shape. And here's a more normal sort of lamp that you might have at home, a 60 watt lamp, maybe the sort that you have in the kitchen, the lounge room or your bedroom. The filament is even thinner wire here. Well, right next door to it, I have a camping light. I'll take the top off and you can see that I have a very low wattage lamp. I'll switch it on and it glows dimly. It's a 15 watt lamp. Now, I have a problem for you. How can we make that filament vibrate, shake backwards and forwards? You might say, oh, pick up the thing and shake it. No, don't do that. In fact, don't do any of this experiment at home. It's just something to think about. How can we make it vibrate? Without making the lamp vibrate, just the filament. You might say, oh, we could try blowing it. But of course, nothing will happen because the whole thing is surrounded by a sealed glass jacket. Mm -hmm. What about a magnet? If we bring that up next to the globe, Will that affect the filament in any way? No, it's not moving. Because the metal from which the filament is made is non-magnetic. It's not affected by this magnet at all. How are we going to solve the problem? Well, actually, the magnet does give you a clue. But it won't work when the thing is switched off. If we switch it on, however, and then if I bring the magnet up next to it, watch what happens. There's the filament, and as soon as the magnet gets close, look at that filament, vibrating. Furiously. In fact, the reason for its vibration is that when you pass electricity through any sort of wire, it becomes an electromagnet, sets up a magnetic field around it. And because the electricity is reversing direction 50 times a second, the poles of that electromagnet, made up of the filament, reverse 50 times every second. And so 50 times a second, that little electromagnet, the filament, will be attracted towards this permanent magnet and then repelled backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and so it sets up this vibration. So that's the answer to the problem. I wonder if you worked it out. Curiosity.